Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Happy Christmas holidays my friends and welcome to another episode. So we're gonna start straight here into the four hour time frame because Bitcoin is still pumping here after this nice breakout that we have seen yesterday. So Bitcoin is still on its way towards this uh, $26,000 uh, target that we have because if we measure here the wedge that we have been before the breakout and we pull out here the target of the point of the breakout, you can see that the target would be here at around $26,340. So it is very likely that within the next couple of hours or maybe even days, I think latest tomorrow, we're gonna reach here this potential target up here. And there we're gonna see if we continue to break out to the upside here or if maybe we're getting rejected and from there on we're gonna see a correction again towards this $24,000 which now could be acting as a support or if $24,000 will not hold we're gonna see a complete retracement back down towards the $20,000 level because 20k so far hasn't been tested and I think it is very likely that if here we're gonna fail to break out above $26,340 we might see another correction down towards here this green trend line which currently is lining up right at our previous all-time high here of $20,000. So based here in the four hour time frame, we still have some few left to the upside because the target is not yet reached. And also you can see that after the breakout here in the RSI to the upside from this falling wedge, currently we are not coming into very complete overbought conditions. So we still have some room left to the upside. Of course, we are starting to look here a bit bearish and also a bit overbought. In my own indicator, you can see that we are reaching here these higher levels where we could get the sell signal pretty soon but as long as we're closing four hour candles above the nine moving average here 24,360 we should be good to go to the upside and the target could be reached here in the very close future and although if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently stochastic is very very overbought we are also trading right here at the top so if we see a pullback here, then watch out here for this $24,360. If here we're gonna have a four hour close below, then I think we will not reach the target yet. And we most likely gonna correct all the way down again towards $24,000. And here, if we're gonna fail, then be prepared to see 20K incoming pretty soon. I'm expecting some support at around 21,000, but finally we should reach then also 20 and here in the daily time frame you can also see that currently we have the nine daily moving average right here at 23,760 so in case that we're not able to break out here to the upside from this potential $26,000 resistance and this next potential target that we're going to reach that we will have a correction at least down towards the nine daily moving average and trade along this moving average and then maybe we're going to see another attempt here to break out here from this red trend line that we are having now since many days already but as soon as we are starting to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average and watch out here for the next target down here at the 20 daily moving average currently at $21,300 that's why I'm expecting also some support if we're gonna fall below this moving average right here at the 20 daily moving average because this is a very important moving average during an uptrend and only if we would go lower than that and start to close daily candles below this 20 daily moving average at least for now this run that we have seen so far could be interrupted and we could see a little correction at least towards the 20k area right here at the 50 daily moving average and if this moving average will also not hold then watch out for the 100 and 200 daily moving average down here right here at around $15,500 the 100 and the 200 daily moving average here at $13,000 Dollar. Keep in mind my friends that all kind of assets as long as they are trading above the 200 daily moving average They are in a bull trend So even if Bitcoin would have a complete retracement back down towards the 200 daily moving average here $13,000 we will still remain in our bull market and that could be just a big correction down to these Important moving averages down below here and then gear up for another big move to the upside and start the real parabolic run up in bitcoin so don't be afraid if we are starting to correct my friends if we're seeing such a correction then take it as a nice christmas gift to accumulate even more bitcoin but so far it doesn't look like that we're gonna go straight down towards these levels but of course we have to keep an eye here on the daily closes if we're gonna start to close daily candles below the nine day moving average or maybe even worse below the 20 daily moving average we could be in this potential bigger correction here towards one of these moving averages so make sure that you 
you have buy orders set down into these regions and also scaling some nice long positions. If you're afraid of longing or shorting Bitcoin with leverage, then maybe just go without leverage or only with maximum 3x leverage. So your liquidation price will be way below the 200 daily moving average. And like this, you can build up a very nice long term long position. So once Bitcoin is reaching 100k and higher, you will be sitting in very nice profits because not only your Bitcoin will be worth way more, but also you would have gained way more Bitcoin with this trade that you can set up if we're going to see such a correction. But if you don't want to wait, you can already start to scale in right now some longs without leverage or low leverage, because like that, if the price is going lower, you can buy more Bitcoin and at the same time you can scale up your long position. And if you have low leverage, don't worry about liquidation price because it will be way, way below the current prices and the more you stack up your long position the lower this liquidation price will also be so don't worry my friends even if you go in right now with a long position just make sure that you use low leverage and you should be doing fine and remember if you're still in the bybit or femex account to trade bitcoin then make sure to use my invitation links down below here because with my links you will get some extra bonus 90 dollars on bybit and 80 dollars on femex of course you have to put an initial deposit in bitcoin so you can also start to trade and like this you can get also this nice bonus over here so definitely use my links and you will also support the channel like this and now my friends, let's have a look also here in the Bollinger Bands in the daily because currently we're still trading here on the bullish side. So even if we would have a correction down towards the midline of 21,340, we will still remain on the bullish side. And since we have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside, if we see such a potential pullback, then take it as a good long entry. And overall here in the daily, it looks like that we will see continuation to the upside. The top currently is right here at $26,200 or so right at our bullish target so the next move potentially will be here to the upside to reach this $26,000 and there we're gonna see if we're able to push higher maybe to have a blow off top or something like that towards 30k I think that is still possible and then maybe see a correction but that we're gonna reach $26,000 I'm pretty confident that this will happen in the next couple of hours latest tomorrow and if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that we are still very, very far away from all the moving averages. So also here, even though Bitcoin is looking very bullish, I think we may be going to have one last blow off top here before we're going to start a major correction, potentially down towards the nine weekly or 20 weekly moving average. So between uh, 15,000 to 18,800 dollar. So usually Bitcoin always have one last big move to the upside before it starts a bigger correction. And once this correction happens, Remember, scale in longs and buy more Bitcoin. Don't go and panic sell. If you want to sell something, then maybe wait for such a blow off top or slowly DCA a little bit out of Bitcoin with just a little amount. So you're able to scale in some nice longs and buy orders down to these levels if we're going to see such a correction. Because if you're all in right now, then of course you could be very scared and you can go and panic sell if the price is starting to correct like crazy. So make sure that you're ready for both scenarios if you have no fiat no cash on the sideline and you're sitting in huge profits because of this nice rally that we have make also sure to take a little bit out of profits just for the worst case scenario that we're gonna have such a correction it's okay sometimes to take a little bit of profits out even though of course the target for bitcoin is way above one hundred thousand dollar and taking out profits right now is a bit risky but it's always good to at least lock in a little bit of profits to be ready for the worst case scenario and if we just start to moonshot from here and never come back again to retest these moving averages down here you also should be doing fine and with that money that you have on the sideline you maybe use it for something else or to buy some altcoins because currently they are completely in red and i think right now is a very good time also to diversify into some altcoins if you think that you want to buy some of them and you want to diversify next to buying Bitcoin because currently if we have a look into the Bitcoin dominance you can see that of course right now we had this huge breakout to the upside we already reached 71 percent 
and I think also here potentially we're gonna see a little altcoin boom again if here the dominance is coming down again to retest this 67% area this is possible because if we go over into the daily you can see that currently also here it looks like we're topping out a little bit here in my own indicator and in the RSI it looks quite overbought so also here I'm expecting a potential correction down towards 67% to potentially retest this area but of course the target is still up here at around 75% so maybe if you want to buy some altcoins between 70 to 75% in Bitcoin dominance it's not a bad idea to diversify a little bit into altcoins but be sure that you have the most of your money into Bitcoin because that is always the safest bet. So with these words I'm gonna wrap it up my friends enjoy your Christmas holidays with your friends and family and keep a very close eye here on the Bitcoin price because the next move potentially will be towards here this $26,000 and there we're gonna see if we are also able to break through and go towards 30k but if not if we are seeing a correction down again towards the $24,000 potentially even towards 20k make sure to scale in some nice longs and of course start to DCA back into Bitcoin if you're taking out some profits or if you have some cash on the sidelines but be also ready that we could go even lower than 20k again because the 100 and 200 daily moving average are still far away from us and Bitcoin could go at any time down to retest these important supports level and of course these important moving averages. So if you like the content my friends please hit that like button here and subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and if you want to follow me also over on Twitch and Discord you can click here on these invitation links down below here in our Discord trading chat we have a very great crypto family so make sure to join also our crypto family and here is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends enjoy your holidays and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye